just got back from the screening at the uh, uh, State Theater and the Frank and Barbara McFarlane Gallery into the Arctic has opened. Some of the folks in here were just at the screening, so it's a really kind of neat connection because they got to see the film and see where some of these works came from and now are sort of seeing them firsthand the results of for many months. Here's a young lady. It's Kat, I believe, in the theater, right? How you doing, Kat? Good. Now, I was wondering if maybe you could point out to me your favorite painting in the room. This one. Oh, this one? <laughs> Let me see which one. Oh, that one, Great Glacier. Why is that your favorite painting? It just makes me feel like I'm there. It's so awesome. Awesome. It's all the little details just makes it. It's awesome. Oh, thank you. And do you paint yourself? Do you yes. do art? What kind of stuff do you like? <laughs> I painted today. Oh, let's, let me see. Oh, that's <laughs> I, awesome. I painted today. I still have a little bit. I just now, realized that. Now, that was a long film at the theater. It was 90 minutes. Was it getting kind of long for you? No. Hmm? I, I, just, I just loved it. Oh, thanks. What was your favorite part of the film? <laughs> I love all of it. I, I, I couldn't pick a favorite. And what do you like to paint? Um, still life. Oh, yeah. Very good. And how old are you? Ten. Ten. Cat is ten years old. And you want to be an artist for a living, you think? Yes. Yeah? Awesome. Fine. Well, thank you very much, Cat. Get over here. Let's go look up. Here's, this is Cat in Traverse City, uh, the next artist to be exhibiting here at the dentist maybe someday. Definitely. Awesome. I, I want to. <laughs> good stuff. Well, thank you. Nice to meet you. You too. I like the falls. I think that that's awesome. Thank you. I also like the mass of the... Uh, the peak, the highest point, and just, you know, wondering how long erosion and everything will do its uh, tricks, Mother Nature, you Yeah. Know? but it just, it's, it's just overwhelming the scope and the vision that, that you put on campus and share with people, it's just amazing, and I just want to thank you for that. Well, thank you very much, I appreciate that. The exhibition is up and running here at the Denos, it's uh, past closing time, and it's uh, time for me to head back to Canada but I'm thrilled to have my work so beautifully displayed here in this museum uh, until December 31st for others to see. The response has been wonderful and uh, feels good to know that other people are also connecting with these incredible remote places up in the Arctic. Hopefully it can make a little difference in the world, cause people to look at nature a little more closely, care for it a bit more, fall in love with it, and I think uh, make the world a better place. Oh, well, such a uh, nicely done exhibit here. And we're real thrilled also next door, we have Abraham Rubin's work. Unfortunately, Abraham was not able to make it for the opening due to travel issues that he encountered. But he's got some amazing sculptural work, an Inuit artist from outside of Palatuck. And his work also combines North mythology very interesting stuff, beautifully sculpted forms. And there you go. A little taste of what it's like here at the Denos now that the Arctic has been brought to Traverse City. Final last couple of pieces on the way out the door, including none other than my brother Carl's piece, who joined me up in the Arctic and was here filming me painting back on that epic journey. So thank you, Traverse City. Thank you, Denos. We'll see you later.